Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Writer. In this module, I want to show you how you should put your address block on the right side of a page. So first of all, I've got a blank document here and I'm just going to go through some of the other ways that people might attempt to get their address block on the right. So common way is to go write a line and then start typing your address. So Mr. S. Saxton, 123 Beldon Lane. You can see what's happening here. It's coming in off the right side of the page and sitting like this. It is not left aligned. If I come back down and just continue Bradford like so. So a lot of people actually think that is how you're supposed to do an address block. And I think it's crept in over the last few years because people do not know how it should be done. So I'm going to delete that. It should not be like that. Another way that somebody might try to do it is coming back to left align. They might tab across there. So I'm going to press tab. Now you can't see the tabs at the moment, but if I click on show hide, you will see the tab markers. So I'll tab across to about there and then I'll type it again. Mr. S. Saxton press enter and I want to press enter it shoots back across the other side again and I've got a tab over again remembering exactly how many tabs that I did so I like that same sort of thing not bothered about the spelling mistake so every time I press enter I'm going to have to tab coming across like so and then I will type Bradford and so on and so on so I'll just backspace that that's not correct either Although it will work, I'm just going to delete all of those tabs. Take the show. No, leave the show hide on because another way you could do it is this is definitely the worst way. If you just started going like that with this space bar, trying to get across there and then type from there, Mr. S. Saxton, same things are going to happen. You're going to have to keep holding your space bar down until you get back across there and then try to line it up as you get closer to it like so not the way to do it so none of those are correct although that would most of them would achieve the the end result that you require apart from the right aligned one what you should use is an indent this is the indent marker there like a little hourglass symbol i'm just going to pick it up and move it across to the position that i want it or the address to start so i'll probably go 11 centimeters unless you've got a longer address what that's going to do is going to allow me to type an address over here, which is going to be left aligned, but on the right hand side of the page. If I type Mr. S. Saxton, enter. So it didn't shoot back across the other side. One, two, three, Belden Lane. Enter Bradford. Now, when I've finished, when I've finished with this, when I press enter, I obviously want to come back over this other side so I can just clear this back off, drag it back off for that line below the address, back to the margin. And then um, let's push that on a little bit. That'll do. You type um, the rest of your letter, dear sir, madam, or whatever you're addressing it to. Then there's your body of your letter, etc., etc. But this is on the right hand side already left aligned using an indent a very simple thing now you must be able to see your ruler which if you haven't got it if you go to the view tab you've got rulers there look if i take that off you've got that one there and if you don't want it in centimeters you can put it to inches if you're in the us it's default in the uk to centimeters that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can get your address block onto the right hand side of the screen, and how it should be left aligned but on the right using an indent. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.